I've always had a particular dislike for Stormzy because a couple of years ago there was a young a young lad came and started working with me and he he didn't he was wasn't red pill but he sure as hell was after I'd uh, spoken to him for a few months but when he first arrived he kind of thought Stormzy was a bit edgy and a bit rebellious and uh sort of because there is a market for that there is a market of anti-establishment anti-system thinking but i pointed out to him at the time and this was when stormzy was just becoming a big thing um that the system sort of wafted stormzy up into prominence and never looked back it was constantly constantly promoting stormzy and here we are just two years later and he's got the biggest uh the biggest gig in the in the country at the biggest con uh, concert and all of these middle class white kids of course have still bide into this sort of rubber plastic synthetic rebellion against the system even though he's never uh under any threat of being deplatformed his videos on youtube have got tens and tens of millions of hits one of them's got 55 million hits um and jeremy corbyn cheers him on all of the politicians are like trying to get on board and of course stormzy himself at the, the one last night it was like well fuck boris johnson and fuck the tories because it's it's all everybody's fault that black men are stabbing each other in london it's the fault of those middle class white kids in the audience that black men stab each other and all it ever boils down to is that they need more money. They need if only they had more ping pong tables and youth clubs, they wouldn't stab each other. It didn't work in Chicago, it didn't work in Los Angeles, didn't work in Africa, doesn't work anywhere else they are. But let's just give them more money anyway. And until they do, they're gonna tell us all to go fuck ourselves. But you see, the the idea of Stormzy as being any kind of anti establishment uh figure this rebel is is completely facile but what it does do is funnel uh sort of discontent in a certain direction because a, a genuine kind of white discontent is is either illegal or censored and so a lot of young young white people not just middle class but they will find something in that and it's only because he is promoted and any kind of white discontent is censored and just look at the just look at the to compare that just look at the way the media treats uh, morrissey what is at the end of the day what is the difference between morrissey and stormzy they're both speaking up on behalf of of groups who they deem the the system the the government the elites is opposed to and yet Stormzy gets the biggest pop concerts uh, in in the country and he gets politicians celebrating him and saying how wonderful he is whereas uh, Morrissey's in the process of being non-personed what's the difference well the, the, the difference is the 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 black uh, rebellion is just social justice it's just another form of social justice and they'll turn a blind eye to it and it's so bad that if you're in a, a low paid job like me or like the, the lad that I was talking about before, you're actually, and you've got Crapital FM on or Radio 1 and you don't have any choice about it, you will hear Stormzy about 10 times a day, just over once an hour and that'll be five days a week. So you're going to have this talentless twat screaming your fucking ear at least 50 times a week. You're going to be subjected to his shit, but he's the one that's oppressed. And the, the funny thing is, as well, the social justice morons will turn a blind eye to what's actually in the lyrics. Um, so he says things like, man, good. This is the, like Stormzy's poetry. This is his urban art. I got caught in the club with a slut. Fuck boy soon get hit with the karma. Smoke my spliff and write my bars. Million dollar pussy on my mattress. I take care when I water my plants. Still got a couple of killers in the cut. Nah, fuck that. Flick knife. Tur and rur. So this is this is how the, the, the urban youth are going about um, not being oppressed. About how they're going out against speaking against the system is to celebrate stabbing each other. I mean, it's there in the music. This is just so retarded that it beggars belief. And yet we live in this fucking clown world where clowns like Stormzy are wafted up and all these in such prominence. Whereas 
the, any kind of white discontent is uh, censored, completely deplatformed and airbrushed out of the discourse entirely. In one of his videos, he even he even has, I mean, he isn't on the side of the oppressed. He's just a black nationalist who won't actually go and live in a black nation for some whatever reason it is. Instead, people like him and David Lammy insist that they, they stay here and get more money. And again, in his, I mean, in his video, one of his videos, uh, he's actually got himself in central London, surrounded by a gang of white lads, as if there's like gangs of white lads going out beating up blacks. It's absolutely, completely retarded. And yet, this is this is the manufactured dissent that the system allows for. It's it's pure. Uh, what controlled opposition on a grand scale people often get sort of a bit carried away with accusing everybody and everything of being controlled opposition the controlled opposition is actually huge it's right there in front of you and it sort of warps the entire culture of the country but you see the the, the he's pushed at, at just like all other forms of social justice he's pushing at an open door because the system actually wants what he to facilitate his message. So the, on the one hand, everybody thinks they look at him on this stage, and I know it's embarrassing, but this is how thick people are. Um, the the one people look at him on this stage and think, "Oh, he's finally done it. He's finally broken through. This is finally getting the stage, the platform that he needs to address these issues." In actual fact, he's been pushing at an open door all his career. He's it constantly, he's never faced any kind of struggles or hardship whatsoever. This is mainstream stuff. And it's it just the, straight away, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. I can't, I can't stand it. I can't stand it.